Hi everyone. So in today's uh, video, I want to talk about my most popular popular uh, Instagram post. So this image got liked around 300,000 likes and uh, a lot of people uh, reshared it. And um, it's really interesting why posts like this are working uh, that well. So in this video, I want to explain uh, a bit about why I'm saying this is wrong and why is this right. So of course, draw in every style you want, uh, but this is just some tips I like to give. So uh, if you want to help me out uh, with my YouTube channel, please uh, like, subscribe or leave a comment. Tell me what you think and what, what is the style you like to draw in and uh, do you think it's okay to tell um, how to draw or not to draw. So having said that, let's start with the video. So in this video, I'm going to draw um, these objects and I'm going to tell a bit about it. So let's just start uh, with it. Let's move this one uh, a bit uh, to the side. So um, of course um, I have these um, crosses and check marks and I think it's really important to draw however you want. If you want to draw a cloud using uh, a balls of all the same size, like I'm doing here, that's totally fine. But in the style I like to draw uh, in, that you see in a lot of uh, Disney movies and other animated movies, I like to be a bit more organic. Instead of having all these shapes the same size, I like to use a big shape, a small shape, and a medium shape, and then a shape like this. So I'm really trying to play around. I'm trying to be random with these shapes and that will make it uh, will make look everything a bit more uh, organic and think about it if you're going into nature um, and you look at clouds you never see clouds with um, uh, precisely the exact uh, same of uh, flumes or however you will call these parts so um, yeah uh, think about that so the, the same with uh, drawing a flame. So when you um, are, are somewhere in a building and they often have these kinds of, uh, of icons and it's really easy to rec recognize and to read, right? It's like a symbol. And you also have uh, a lot of TV shows do that, these, these kinds of iconic style. And um, it's also because it's a bit more quicker to draw. Because here, these are just a couple of lines. But if I'm going to draw um, then another flame, for example, I start with this line here, and then I draw this wavy, wavy line here to get a bit of the flow. And then I start drawing in here, these random shapes like this here. And here, and I try to be really asymmetrical. So what does asymmetrical mean? So that basically means, for example, if I'm drawing a circle, this is uh, symmetrical, both sides are all the same. But if I uh, change this side, like uh, this, and this here, and this here, this is, uh, it's not symmetrical uh, anymore. And it's the same with flames and often, things in uh, in nature. So uh, for example, here with this flame, I start with uh, yeah, drawing this big shape first, and then I try to be really random here with these shapes. So something, uh, something like, uh, like this here. And yeah, go ahead and try that out. The flame is actually quite, uh, quite difficult to do. So I would maybe recommend try to first try it with the cloud or the water. For example, here's another example. Watch out if you're drawing water, don't draw it like this. This could, could work in, for example, children book where uh, it, it needs to be really graphic and simple to, to read. But what I like to do is I li also like to add uh, some, um, for example here, this goes straight up, right? So I want to have some energy in this water. So let's make this wave going uh, in, in 
this direction, right? So you're doing that here, you're changing these, these sides. Instead of this, you're doing this, right? So here, trying to give everything an arc. And what I also noticed, it's still almost the same size. So let's make uh, this one smaller. Like this. So what you could do in, uh, in your sketchbook on, or on your tablet, try drawing a bunch of these, uh, yeah, of these, uh, these shapes here in all different uh, different stuff. So here, let's do this and try to, to learn how to be random. And it can be really hard. So now I have this line. Let's actually uh, make this one a little, a, bit of, a little bit further. Like here. Then we have a line here. 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 Here, maybe I can change this one a little bit. Maybe make this bigger, something like this here. Let's get it random. And maybe a line of that white foam. So something like this. Also try to, for example, try to avoid this. What I mean with that is here, this distance between this line and this line, I don't want to be too parallel. So I'm adding a line here. So, and maybe drawing some, uh, some droplets here, like this here. So uh, one, two, maybe add uh, three here. Maybe it's better to do here two, and then here three, and then one here. So that feels more random, right? So something like, uh, like this here. Then you can add the color on it beneath it. For example, using here this, tool here. So I'm using the lasso tool and I'm using Adobe Photoshop, but you can use Procreate um, or any other uh, program you like. It doesn't matter that much. So I hope this is right. Yeah, like this. And we have this, uh, this water and uh, you can add some more details to it, but uh, let's, uh, let's move on to the grass. So here we have grass and the same with grass here. If you're seeing it like this, it, it looks like teeth, right? And it's all the same sizes. And I think we can make it more interesting. So when you're drawing grass, try to be a bit uh, random, right? So small, big, big, uh, medium, small, let it go this way, let it go that way here and maybe here this this s shape and then here this and then let, let's draw a, a couple of small ones like here and then let's draw a big one another big one another big one small maybe a white one like this bit of an m and really try to be uh, playful with it and um, when you are going too far you can always change it right but um, yeah, it's, it's really about be, trying to be random and uh, natural. You can also look at photos, actually real grass, and then you can see all those different sizes. So basically what I'm saying is try to play around with um, uh, small, medium and big shapes and try to play around with those shapes and also with lines. So I'm trying to avoid parallel lines and I try to go for more uh, yeah, lines that have a contrast. And of course you can totally draw in a style like this, but then it's a choice. So think about your style and what kind of rules do work for that style. Uh, watch TV shows, do they, do they have kind of, what do they use, uh, what, the, what are the rules they are using? Are they using a lot of parallel uh, lines? For example, if you watch at The Simpsons, they do use a lot of these lines. But if you look more at uh, the modern animation movies from Disney or Pixar, uh, you often see a more organic kinds of, um, of shapes. And me personally, I like to draw more um, 
in, uh, in this style. So again, I'm not saying you how to draw, but this is just a guide for how I like to draw um, in the style I do. So that are some rules I use to uh, draw uh, environments and I also use it for characters, but I will show that in uh, another video. So uh, please like, uh, subscribe or comment to help me out with making more YouTube uh, videos. And tell me if you like this video or, or not and what you think could improve or what you liked about it. Um, or ask me a question about style or uh, share your thoughts about um, having rules for drawing and um, yeah, just share your opinion about it. So um, yeah, I hope you liked it. And if you want to learn more about how to draw, you can check out my uh, eBooks and video tutorials. You can find them below in the link uh, under this, uh, this video. And um, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. And I hope to see you again in next week's video lesson. Bye.